In the previous videos, we have learned how to calculate concentration in moles per liter and in grams per liter and how to convert between the two. And in the last lesson, we learned how to calculate concentration of very low concentrated solutions in parts per million or milligrams per liter. In this video, we're going to talk about some strange uh, products. So some products, they express, uh, they represent a concentrations using percentages. So if we take a look at these two packages here, for example, now they happen to be American products because I couldn't really find any Irish products, uh, the labels of them online that have these. But if you look very carefully at the concentrations here, you will see it doesn't mention anything about milligrams per liter or anything like that. It says this contains 0.03%. So there's the percent bit that we were talking about. And then it's got some letters after it, W slash W. So it's 0.3% W slash W of this uh, PCMX, which it gives us a very long name here. If we look at this, uh, what is it? This is for uh, toenail infections. Uh, here again, this is 5% uh, and it's weight W per V this time or W slash V. So what exactly does this mean? Well, let's think about the word for a second percent and think about what that means, percent. All right, so uh, first of all, this word cent, uh, and we know this from money because we have cents and euros, but we know that cent, uh, it, there is 100 cents in a euro. So the word cent it also gives uh, us uh, the word century, which means 100 years. So cent basically means 100. Cent. See that word re re related to the word 100. Now per, of course, we kind of know this one from maths and from doing our calculations before, kind of means out of, out of. So out of 100. <laughs> now, why are we talking about percent and out of 100 for solutions? We think about all the ways we've calculated concentrations before, it's always been grams per liter, which is a thousand centimeters cubed, or uh, moles per liter, or milligrams per liter. Those are always liters, which are a thousand centimeters cubed. So these percentages uh, refer to uh, volumes of solutions, volume of solution, actually I shouldn't say volume, I'm gonna say quantity. So the amount, the quantity of solution, of solution will be equal to 100. So in all of these percentage calculations, uh, the denominator where we're getting the quantity of solution will always be at 100. Remember what I'm talking about here? We're talking about solute per amount of solution. That's what we're doing when we're getting concentration. How much solute is there in a certain amount of solution? So in these calculations, the amount of solution will always be 100. And then we can work out how much solute there is as a percentage of that. Okay, so we won't really waste any more time. We'll get stuck into an example. First way we can express concentration as a percentage, you will see it is percentage W slash W. Now I'm gonna write this a different way, percentage W over W. This is the same thing, okay? Slash and over are the same thing. What do the W stand for? The W stand for weight. Weight. Linking that up here, it will be the weight of solute in grams over the weight of solution in grams. So we will be talking about how much solute is there in 100 grams, because remember it's percentage, 100 grams of the solution. Okay, so that's what we always wanna work out, how much per 100 grams of solution. So let's, uh, let's take an example or a problem. Uh, let's say we were given an example like this. Uh, by the way, you may want to write this down here. Okay, so what we've done here, what does percentage uh, W over W mean? It means percentage weight per weight, where we're talking about 100 grams of the solution on the bottom. Okay, let's, uh, let's you, sorry, yeah, pause the video and take that down if you want to make a note of it, what percentage weight per weight means. And we're gonna do uh, an example. Let's say we were asked, uh, what is the, what is the percentage weight per weight concentration of a solution? Of a solution containing 
uh, 74.3 grams of solute 250 cubed. Okay, all right. So uh, again, how do we go about doing this? Well, we very simply would uh, write down what we know. Okay, so writing down what we know, what we're starting with. Well, what do we know already? We know we've got 74.3 grams in this amount of solute. Okay, sorry, that should say not cm cubed. Very important. It won't actually be worded like that. You will be given, sorry, grams of solute or solvent solution. All right, so percentage weight per weight. Why is this important that it's in grams? Well, this is a percentage weight per weight concentration. So we have to have a weight of solution. So let's write down, we've got 74.3 grams per, and this is solute, per uh, 250 grams of solution. First thing. Okay, and we wanna multiply by something to give us uh, our answer in percentage weight per weight. All right, so because this is a percentage, it's the same as any other percentage that we do in maths. We're going to times it by 100% for every one whole. Okay, so we've got grams over grams, which gives us our weight per weight. So grams over grams. So we don't need to cancel out any units here. And then we're just going to multiply it by 100% to get our uh, to get our percentage weight per weight. That's all you have to do. Put the amount of solute over the amount of solution in grams over grams, and then times it by 100 over 1. So we're going to go ahead and do that. 74.3 times by, sorry, divided by 74.3 divided by 250. Uh, and then times that by 100 gives me 29.72%. Okay, so that would be your final answer there, percent weight per weight. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to give you a couple of uh, these to practice on now. Uh, it's question 13 here. If you would like to have pause and have a read over the stuff that came before that, this is where we're starting here. Okay, and you pause the video and have a go at them now for me. Pretty straightforward, I think. All of those are pretty easy. So there are the answers that you should have got if you want to pause the video and correct them now. Right. Uh, if you're not getting these right, this is, I'll just call them out by the way in case it's not clear. 7% is the first one. 83.5% weight per weight is the second one. And then 32.66% weight per weight is the third one. Now, if you're not getting some of those right, guys, I suggest you just go back and see how I did it. I think they're pretty straightforward. I don't want to waste your time by talking too much about them. Um, I think you guys are able for these, so I will just, uh, I won't talk too much more about them. The second uh, percentage calculation we can have is this one here, percentage weight per volume. So where our solute is measured in weight, grams, over our volume, which is measured in cm cubed, okay, or liters. Uh, cm cubed i think yeah cm cubed and it's always because it's a percentage uh, we're always talking about 100 centimeters cubed solution that's as a percentage that's what we want to find okay now so if we were to think about one of these problems then do we have any for you to practice let's say uh it's the same kind of idea it's exactly the, look guys i'm not going to actually spend any time it's the exact same thing you do it's just it's not it's instead of writing W per W at the end, you write W per V, W over V, exact same way of doing it. I've got a few to, for you to practice in a second. The next, uh, the ne last one that we're going to talk about is the way alcoholic drinks are measured. So when you, uh, if you go out at the weekend and you're having, a, I don't know, a Bulmers, I think a, a Bulmers is 5% is what you'll see written on it. And that's 5% V over V, volume per volume, okay? So volume of solute over volume of solution. And what this means is that there is, five, if you have a 5% solution or 5% alcoholic drink like cider at Bulmers, that means there are five centimeters cubed of ethanol for every 100 centimeters cubed of the actual drink that you're drinking. So ethanol is the alcohol that makes you drunk, but 
the drink, the whole cider, that's not all ethanol. The 95% of it is not ethanol. Only 5% is ethanol. The other 95% is mostly water uh, with like flavorings and sugars and that kind of stuff. So that's how that's measured volume per volume. Okay. Uh, so again, we measure it in the exact same way. We put the volume of the solute over the volume of the solution and times by 100 over 1 to get the percentage. So now that we've done those, I think you guys should be able to think about these here, question 14, 15, and 16. If you want to pause the video and read through these two sections, again, by all means, pause the video and do them. If you've got any questions, don't be afraid to, uh, to ask me in class. So now you should be pausing the video and having a go at 14, 15, and 60. Pause the video, do that now. Okay, so uh, he, you should only be watching if you've had a go at these. I have the answers here for 14 and 16. So 14, you should have got 15% volume per volume is the percentage of ethanolic acid uh, in the vinegar. Okay, so you do this by putting 75 over 500 and times them by 100 over 1, 100% over 1. Uh, the last one then is similar. We have 20 grams of pure sodium hydroxide in a solution of 250 cm cubed. So you do 20 over 250 times by 100 over 1 and you get 8% weight per volume. I realized after I asked you that 15 is a little bit trickier because they give you the percentage volume per volume and then they give you how much of the whole thing you have to find out how much ethanol is contained. Okay, now uh, again, what I'm gonna to say to you is if you struggle with this or you didn't know how to do it, I'm gonna try and give you a clue that might let you then do it by yourself. Think about what you're told that the wine is 14% V over V. What does that actually mean? Try and write down as a fraction, what does that actually mean? 14%, sorry, uh, think about this before we start. If you had 14% V per V, what does that equal to if we write it out like this? What does that mean? 14% volume per volume. Okay, and then once you've done that, if you had 700 cm cubed of that stuff, how much solute would you have all together? So again, think about that and see, can you work it out? Okay. All right, so what we know here is that 14% V over V, remembering what I showed you up here, what does V over V mean? It means volume of solute per volume of solution. I mean, I should make that clear, volume of solute per volume of solution. Okay, which is what we looked at up here, solution, solute over solution, which means that we have 14% alcohol, or sorry, 14 and volume CM cubed, volume, that means this is CM cubed. And this is volume, which means this is also CM cubed. And if it's percentage, then it's 14 out of 100. So 14 out of 100 of the uh, wine is alcohol. Now, if we have 700 of the alcohol, okay, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe hold on for a second. We'll just, uh, we'll just for a second, think about labeling this on the top and the bottom. So 14 centimeters cubed is the solute or the alcohol, okay? Uh, we call it solute now, sorry. 14 cm cubed is the solute, 100 cm cubed is the solution. We're times in this by, we said it has 700 centimeters cubed of the bottle of wine. Is that 700 centimeters cubed of the solute or 700 centimeters cubed of the solution that we have here? So when I write by 700, is this the solute or the solution? Pause the video and write that down. This is actually 700 centimeters cubed of the whole solution. Okay, which means we can cancel this centimeters cubed of solution with this centimeters cubed of solution and we know that we've got, we're calculating centimeters cubed of the solute here, okay? Because it's centimeters cubed, the solute is the only unit left. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, don't worry too much about that. 14 over 100 times by 700 is what you wanted to do here. 14 divided by 100 times by 700. And that means that you had 
98 centimeters cubed of solute. Alcohol itself, the ethanol, you had 98 centimeters cubed. So for every 700 centimeter cubed bottle of wine, uh, 98 centimeters cubed is actually alcohol. The rest is other stuff, water, flavors, sugars. Okay, so that's what we were working out there. Now, that's about as hard as they get, the Lehman's exam. So if you're able to do that, well done. Okay, now, uh, I would suggest if you weren't able to do that, uh, that maybe you write yourself another question using this as a guideline. So instead of maybe saying it was an 800 centimeter cube bottle, can you say maybe a 600 centimeters cube? So a bit smaller bottle and the percentage was lower, 12%. All right, so now that, uh, now that you've done that, if you weren't able to do it the first time, it's important you have another goal, practice this by yourself now, work this out, okay? So 600 centimeter cube bottle of wine at 12%, what volume of alcohol does it contain? Pause the video and do that now if you didn't get the first one right. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you found that useful. If you did, leave the video a like, please, to help other students to find it that might be struggling. Thank you, see you next day.